Kicking off the new year with one of my idols, my idol, Peg Small. She's a patron of the arts. She's an actress. She was in the seat many <laughs> moons ago. Many Peg, moons. hello. Hello, my dear. Happy New Year. Thank you. Same to you. You started off in radio kind of like me. Mm -hmm. You worked at WKZO Radio. I was at WKZO. And what were you doing there? I was the woman's editor, they called it back then. And I did... Uh, Sort of like what, what you do on television now, I have interesting people as guests. But normally, I, I take things off the teleprompter and, and, you know, they would come in and like um, things for uh, uh, bro re recipes. And, uh, and then also I did, uh, you know, where there's such and such a meeting, such and such of this, you know. I did a calendar and all that. But sure. Then, That's when they divvied things up. It was ladies' issues. Yes, men's yes, exactly. And you always work barefoot, so that's what we're doing today. That's, oh, that's what that's we're That's where doing. your feet, that's where your brain is, you told <laughs> yeah, me. Always. So we have to have it yes, free-flowing. Yes. So then TV came about, yes. and there you were, right at the beginning. Right in the beginning. Well, uh, I graduated uh, from college in 50 in June, and I came to work at WKCO in August. And I had never done much television at all, except one show, which is kind of interesting, one show at uh, the University of Michigan with Sam Rich, was the director. Now, no one knows Sam Rich, but when he went to California, he would change his name to John Rich. And John Rich was the director of All in the Family oh. and a lot of the other shows. So I did have a, a one time, I did one show for him. And so then when uh, WKCO got television, I... Uh, I was the woman's, uh, the only woman on television because the rest was all men. And sure. Men were the more important things. Well, yes. And uh, I, it was for Heckman Biscuit Company, so I did their, uh, their ad for Heckman Biscuit Company, and then the lead-in to the syndicated uh, Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales. Oh, and that's nice. what I did. And then you got your own show. Well, yes, I had my own show, and before Louise Carver, and uh, I love the name, Feminine Fancies. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to call this that too, but yeah. there's nothing yeah, there's feminine another, about me, Peg. Should... You know, <laughs> so we had to change it. <laughs> there was a, there was another name afterwards, but I can't remember what accent. it is. Accent. It was accent, accent for a while that too. That was it. Yes. Yeah. I liked your. Um, impersonation of yourself on the first day when the red light came on. Could you please reenact that for our viewers? Okay, okay. here we go. There's, here comes the camera. Okay, here comes the camera. The red light goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember my well, they name. they didn't have teleprompters. They didn't have teleprompters. <laughs> they had nothing. You were all on your own. <laughs> and it was my first time in front of a camera. So I thought I was going to be so important. Now I've memorized everything, you know. And then they, the, the red light went on. That kills me. <laughs> because you are a performer extraordinaire. And everyone in Kalamazoo is familiar with you, having seen you, well, heard you on the radio and seen you on TV. And then you, of course, have done so many things at the Kalamazoo Civic that you consider your yes. second home. Exactly. It is my home. I really think that. And when I, I was in New York for 25 years, <clears throat> and I decided in 2005 to come home. And I, it, the minute I walked on the stage at the Civic, Kalamazoo Civic, I just said, I am home. It was wonderful. Well, we need to uh, talk about that little New York thing, Peg, because it was you're, a, you're an idol New to York many. Thing. <laughs> your little New York thing. Yes. Because, you know, you had lived in Kalamazoo, you raised your children, you had your family. And then at what, may I ask you what age you were when you moved to New York? You, you had the nerve, well, the courage I, yes, to move. Yes, I was in my 50s. Yeah. I mean, don't you think so many people think if you don't do it when, right you're, away, 20, when you're young? Well, then I it. wanted to do it when I was young. And when I let, graduated from uh, University of Michigan, I uh, had a roommate and an apartment in New York to go to. But my father suddenly got, got, had a heart attack and my mother got sick. So I thought, oh, I'll stay home for a year. Wrong. Yeah. I well, met that's what someone, happens. fell in love, had three children, and, you know, life yeah. goes on. There so, it did. But then and, they then, grew up, and, and you said, you know what, I still want to go to New York, so exactly. I'm going to. And you had some help from a very, very special gentleman. Very special gentleman with uh, Mr. Gilmore. 
He was wonderful. They just don't make him like that anymore. Irving Gilmore's who we're talking about. Yes. My brother mentioned him as well because he gave him a leg up as he did so exactly. many performers yeah. and musicians yeah. in our community. Yeah, your brother Greg. He yes. just, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and I thought that's how I found out about him. I knew him uh, personally, but I didn't know that he did such nice things. And my husband at the time said, well, why don't you talk to him? He knows you and he knows what you do. He always called me Billy Burke. <laughs> Billy Burke. <laughs> <laughs> she was the um, the good witch. Yes. In case people don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, you're a little good witchish. But she was a beautiful she woman. She was. Thank you that very was a nice. Thank you, yes. Irving, very yes. much. <laughs> That's so nice. But we should say, you know, you didn't just move to New York. You moved to New York and then you went on Broadway. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, oh, yeah. I did. Oh, oh yes, that. Yeah. That little thing. <laughs> Pag, that's so cool. What show? I mean, you went, you auditioned, and there you were. Well, I did Orpheus Descending with Vanessa Redgrave. And uh, we, we didn't do that for very long. We thought we would go at least six months. But, uh, you know, she was in politics quite a bit. And uh, some of the gray-headed ladies in uh, New Jersey and New York just weren't interested in her at that time. I think she's mellowed, and I think everything else is mellowed, so it would be a different thing now. But uh, they just didn't come to the Wednesday matinees, you oh. know, so. <laughs> so there it goes. There it goes. Was Broadway everything you dreamed of yes. in your head? Was yes. Yes, it? it was very exciting. And I will have to say, when the red light went on, I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> when the curtain came up, you're like, this yes. is more like it. I've I done said, this Here before. I am. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. And then you did movies, too. Yes, yes. We did uh, We did a movie of Orpheus Descendi also. Peter Hall from uh, England was our director for both of them. And uh, we did that. And then my last movie was uh, with Liam Neeson. It was Kinsey, it was called. And you know the Kinsey Report? Oh, yes. And about it's about sex. It's about and they don't talk about it in Kalamazoo. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it's it's a beautiful show. It's very well done. And uh, but they never they never showed it in Kalamazoo. They showed it in Battle Creek. They showed it in Grand Rapids. They showed it two nights at uh, the little theater. Oh um, yes, because it's an art uh, film. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very avant garde. But it's beautifully done. But you have a great little part in that, so people need to run it so they can see it. It's awesome. <laughs> well, they cut <laughs> most of my scene, but the one line is still there. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> no, we can't say it on the family that. show. But oh, Peg Small, you're so great, and we're so glad you're back in Kalamazoo. Thank you. And I'm don't so ask happy her what to... she's doing next. She's resting. Resting. Give the woman a break. She's. Yeah, well, somebody says, "Well, what are you doing now?" And I said, "Now." I said, "I'm 100 years old. Give me a break." <laughs> she's not. Peg, thank you so much for thank joining you. me today. Happy New Year. Thank it's you, Lori. So great to thank see you. Thank you. Same to you.